how many oxygen atoms are in 3.20 milligrams of calcium phosphate. So I will show you the steps. So starting from 3.20 milligrams of calcium phosphate, you need to convert this into grams of calcium phosphate. And from grams of calcium phosphate to moles, let me rewrite that, moles of calcium phosphate. And from moles of calcium phosphate to moles of oxygen, and from moles of oxygen to atoms of oxygen. So this will be our steps. So let's do this in detail. Starting from 3.20 milligrams of calcium phosphate. Let's convert that to grams. We know that 1 gram is equivalent to 1,000 milligrams. So milligrams would cancel we have grams of calcium phosphate. Next is to convert grams of calcium phosphate to moles of calcium phosphate. So we need the molar mass to do this conversion. So the molar mass of calcium phosphate, one mole of calcium phosphate weighs 310 Point eighteen grams of calcium phosphate. So grams of calcium phosphate would cancel. We have moles of calcium phosphate. So this part is already done. Next is to convert moles of calcium phosphate to moles of oxygen. So the formula of calcium phosphate is Ca3 po 42 One mole of calcium phosphate contains how many moles of oxygen? So you have 4 times 2 that is equal to 8 moles of oxygen. So you plug that into the equation. 1 mole of calcium phosphate contains 8 moles of oxygen. So moles of calcium phosphate will cancel. We are left with 8 moles of oxygen. So this part is already done. And for the last step, we need to convert moles of oxygen to atoms of oxygen. So in order to do this conversion, we need to make use of Avogadro's number. So, Avogadro's number is 6.022 times 10 raised to 23 atoms per mole. So, 1 mole of oxygen contains 6.022 times 10 raised to 23 atoms of oxygen. So, moles of oxygen will cancel. The final unit is atoms of oxygen. And the final step in solving this problem is to solve for everything. So, plug this in your calculator. And the answer is equal to 4.97 times 10 raised to 19 oxygen atoms. And this is the answer to the question.